Hey there, this is Dallin Seeker with Dallin Seeker Codes, and welcome to episode 9 of Making a DAW in C Sharp. In this episode, we're going to be covering part 2 of file management, which is going to be opening an existing project. All right, so in our open project button here, uh, when we press the open button, we're going to want to allow the user to select a project to open. So we're going to want to, of course, open have the open file dialog prompt uh, pop up. And we do actually have, uh, we can just go ahead and copy that uh, from what we have in the uh, file import uh, that we worked on previously. So we can just copy that code over here. So we can open a new file dialog. And before we uh, display the dialog, let's go ahead and create a path to the my DAW folder so that the user can more easily access those projects without having to navigate all the way to that. Uh, so if we go to our name new project here, uh, we can just actually go ahead and copy this uh, path here. And you can just go ahead and copy this. Sorry, let's remove projects. And you can just go ahead and copy this uh, from my screen if you would like. Um, this path uh, combine here. Uh, it's kind of hard to remember all of the syntax here, so I just usually just copy from what I've previously written. All right, and now we can just go ahead and set the dialog dot initial directory to the path. So now when we launch our application here and we hit open, it will open uh, prompt here to go into our projects. All right, perfect. And one way you could actually do this is you could use something, instead of the open file dialog, you can actually use something called folder browser dialog, which works very similarly to the open file dialog. Uh, however, it is actually pretty ugly and unintuitive, so I would not recommend using it. Uh, but since we are uh, storing our projects as uh, folders, uh, where we keep all the uh, application um where we keep all the recorded audio files, you could use that and that would work. So if you would uh, like, there are plenty of resources online to use that um, as an option. But for the time being, we're actually going to use another method, which I'll show you now, and this actually can be beneficial to us in the future. So let's go ahead and move over to our name new project script here. So when you hit name the new project in the text box and hit okay, it creates a new folder with the name you put in. So now within that folder, we're gonna be storing the audio files but what we can also do is create our own uh, file extension. We can just name it, uh, you set it to whatever you want for your DAW, but we can just do dot my DAW uh, for our example here. And we can allow the user to open that file when prompted to open that project. So let's do string path and let's set it to the path to new project. So that will actually just direct us to that new folder that we made. We can do string ext for extension we can set it equal to dot my da so we have our extension and then we're going to want to do string uh, new new file set it equal to path dot combine we're going to want to combine the path to new project and then current text box text plus the extension so now this is going to uh, provide a path to a new file of type .myDAW. So we just need to create this now. And similarly to how directory.create directory creates a folder, we can actually do file stream equals file.create new file. So this syntax here will just go ahead and create a file with the extension of um, .myDAW. So if we go ahead and hit start here and create new, do my project two, Press OK. And then if we go into app data here uh, into my DAW and go into project two, we will have this file um, called myproject2.myDAW. And of course, uh, uh, Windows will not recognize this. So we currently aren't going to allow the user to double click this to open the uh, application and uh, direct that uh, project. Uh, however, we are going to allow the user to when uh, they start the application, if they press open, they can go ahead and navigate to this file and open it and that will open the project. So here in the opening prompt script, we do have this uh, open file dialog uh, that appears when you press the open button that allows the user to select a project. However, when the user selects a .myDAW uh, file type, uh, it's not a folder, so how are we going to get this current project folder set to a folder? Uh, well, we can simply go ahead and do uh, string folder path, set it equal to path dot get directory name 
and then dialog dot file name, which is the selected file. So this will return uh, when we select the dot my da file, it will return uh, actually the folder. So uh, for example, when you do select um, this, it will return the folder, uh, which is what we're going to need. So now we just need to go ahead and set this current project folder to that. So we can just go ahead and do main dot current project folder, set it equal to our folder path. And now all we need to do is, of course, open uh, the current session. So we can go ahead and use this initialize session code here. We can do main dot main dot initialize session. And then we are, of course, going to want to close this form. Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and test this out. So if we hit open, we go to projects, my project two, hit open. It is going to go ahead and open uh, that project here. Whoops. All right, so that uh, covers how to open a uh, existing project. So now we know how to create a project and open one, and we have some file management started. So now all we need to do uh, to get onto tracks and playing multiple files at once, we need to, within uh, our app data here, within our DAW and within the project folder, uh, we need to have our application create uh, a folder for us that we can name like audio files or something. And within that, we can store all of the audio files we've imported or recorded uh, so that we can uh, play them back. So we will be covering that in the next episode. All right, that concludes episode nine of Making a Dot in C Sharp. Thank you very much for tuning in. And this has been Dallin Seeger Codes.